Hi preschoolers. So today we've been talking about insects and how they communicate with each other. Remember communicate means how we share information or ideas that we might have. And we've been talking about um, how crickets make that chirping noise and we've been wondering how they make that chirping noise. So today we are going to read a book called The Very Quiet Cricket. And this story is written and illustrated by Eric Carle. That means he drew all of the pictures and wrote all of the words. And he's the same author and illustrator that wrote and drew the pictures for the grouchy ladybug that we read on a different day. So in this book, The Very Quiet Cricket, we meet a cricket that isn't able to make that chirping noise. I wonder why it's not able to do it. I think when we read this book, we're going to not only find out if he's able to ever make that chirpy noise, but I think we're going to find out finally how crickets make that noise. So we're going to read The Very Quiet Cricket. Here we go. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. Little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. So there, we already have our answer. The big cricket rubbed its wings together and was able to make the chirping noise. When the little cricket did it, he wasn't made, able to make the noise. I wonder why. Let's read to find out. Good morning, whizzed a locust spinning through the air, the little cricket wanting to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. So a locust is another name for a grasshopper. Have you seen grasshoppers hopping around at your house? They can even fly with their wings. You can see in the picture, the grasshopper is fluttering its wings. That means it's flying. And the book says it whizzed, spinning through the air. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. So this big green insect right here is called a praying mantis. And they communicate by rubbing their front legs together and it makes a noise. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spit bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. So when you're walking around outside at your house early in the morning, sometimes you'll see a little collection of white bubbles on the plants, and that happens from a spittle bug. Have you ever seen it? Me too. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. So a cicada is a big insect that lives in the ground for a really, really long time. You might have heard about them while being around adults. This is something that came out of the ground this year. So after being underground for a really long time, they came out. And the way they talk to each other or communicate with each other is by making a really loud screeching noise. It's almost like a scream. That's how they communicate. 
How are you? hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. So we learned in a different story that not only do bees make a buzzy noise, they also dance when they want to communicate. By dancing and buzzing, they can tell the other bees where to find the nectar to make honey. Good evening, word a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. There's a big dragonfly. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer. He rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Do you have mosquitoes at your house? I do too, and sometimes they bite me and I get really, really itchy. And sometimes when they're flying really close to my ear, I can hear a tiny buzzing noise. And that's how mosquitoes communicate. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. So that means it was just quiet. As the, nut, as the moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time and this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. So that's the end. So finally, after trying again and again and again, the quiet cricket rubbed his wings together one more time and made that beautiful chirping noise for the other quiet cricket. So he finally, finally was able to make that chirping noise. So it sounds like crickets are able to make that chirping noise by rubbing their wings together but they can't always do it right when they're very little. So just like us, we have to practice and practice and practice until we can do something sometimes. So now we finally know how the crickets make that chirping noise. So we learned about how the crickets communicate and throughout the book we learned about how some other insects communicate. Can you tell me some of the ways that they communicated through the book? Great! What are some other ways that other animals communicate? People communicate by using our voices and remember some use their hands to communicate with sign language. Crickets communicate with their wings. What are some other ways that animals or insects communicate? You can draw me a picture and have someone take a picture of it and post it in the comments. Or you can just have someone write in the comments the different ways that you come up with that other animals might communicate. I can't wait to hear what you come up with. See you next time, preschool friends.